Shalom. This is Bishop Nathaniel of Israel United in Christ. I want to start off by saying thank you to all of our Booster Club members for your many donations and much more your prayers. We visited faraway countries and strange lands. We've even spoken to dignitaries and were detained for spreading the glorious gospel in Cuba. The truth is that the descendants of the 12 tribes of Israel were scattered throughout the world. Help us on our journey as we continue to raise up the nation of Israel. 12 tribes worldwide. Join or donate today. Shalom. Hey, Shalom, Mosiah and Christ bless. You are watching 15 Minutes with the Captain and Captain Gideon, and to my right. I'll tell you, honey. Um, today's topic is going to be perseverance, because in this truth, that's one thing you must have. It's like it's a marathon, it's not a race. You must be able to endure and to perse persevere through all the trials and tribulations. You know, like sometimes people are running the triathlon, it's more about them perse persevere than, you know, having, um, how you say, stamina. You need, you need stamina, you know what I'm saying, to keep going because it's grueling and it's very, um, how can I say, it's a very rough race. Stressful. It's not going to be a walk in the park. This truth is not easy, although it is easy. Like the scripture says, it's easy to wake up the people of Israel, but however, our walk here, we're going to have to go through a lot, all right? So let's start with Matthew 24, 13, so we can see what the Bible has to say about this truth. Matthew 24, 13. The book of Matthew chapter 24, verse 13. But he that shall endure unto the end, the same shall be saved. He that shall endure until the end, the same shall be saved. Now, why would you need to endure? If I'm telling you you got to endure, that means what? It's going to be a long, prolonged, gruesome race. Other than that, he would have said, oh, okay, just keep the laws and you're good. Yeah, you're keeping the laws, but how long can you keep the laws for? You follow? So you got to continue enduring day by day, day by day. As your trials come, you overcome them and you keep going. But many people won't endure till the end. Why? Because their trial will come. And once their trial comes, what happened? The fire get extinguished from them. And they turn reprobate and they go out there talking all kinds of evil. Why? Because their trial came, they didn't want to endure. So now, they're talking about uh, 12 year old marriage, uh, lamb on Passover, multiple, I mean, not eating lamb on Passover, multiple wives, uh, weed smoking, you don't have to keep the of atonement, gone. Why? Because they did not endure. So those men are not going to be saved because when their trial came, instead of be a man and take the, take the, um, take the low and stay in the shoe, they went about doing their own thing, all right? So the scripture tells you, he that endureth until the end. Give me Acts 14, 22. The same shall be saved. If you don't have it in you to endure, you're not gonna, you're not gonna be saved. The book of Acts chapter 14, verse 22. Confirming the souls of the disciples and exhorting them to continue in the faith and that we must through much tribulation enter into the kingdom of God. Again, the Bible is telling you warnings. It said, confirming the souls of the disciples and exhort them. Like, we must talk to you, we must remind you, like, bro, it's not going to be a walk in the park. You understand? Trials will come. You will get reprimand, reprimanded. You know what I'm saying? You will get corrected. But through all that, if you're keeping the law like you say you are, you would understand that all that is done out of love. All that is done to preserve your soul, to correct you. Because you might be walking, but you might be walking crooked. So it requires somebody to just, you know, kind of like give you a little nod. Yo, bro, fix this, fix that. But a lot of people see it as hate. So those who see them as, as uh, see that thing as hate, they ain't going to last. They won't endure. Because how long can you stay in a place where you feel like everybody hates you? Not too long. So you got to understand, love is correction. But the thing is, we, we've never known love. So because of that, when correction comes, when trials come, we bounce. The scriptures say we th must, through much tribulation, enter the kingdom of God. Much tribulation. That means it's not going to be easy to just to get the kingdom. It's not just, oh, I believe in Jesus. You understand? I go out to teach. I come to MOV and then that's it. I got the kingdom. Hell no. 
You're going to have to go through your personal trials, your congregational trials, and uh, your marital trials. All these things gonna, is happening, what? To build you up, to purge you out of all the impurities that you have in, 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 in your life. Give me 1 Peter 4, verse 12. The book of 1 Peter, chapter 4 and verse 12. Beloved, think, that, think it not strange concerning the fiery trials which is to try you, as though some strange thing happened unto you. You see that? It says, Beloved, think it not strange. Don't be shocked when you come in this truth. As soon as you enter the door, your life is just, is just going crazy. You're accustomed to having big money. Now you got short money. You know what I'm saying? You're accustomed to pushing a car. Now you're riding a bus. You know what I'm saying? You're accustomed to having um, any type of food you want. Now every night, what's your food? Bush baked beans, hot dog, and bread. Well, guess what? Don't think it's strange. Because if, if the most I give you everything you need, everything you want, like off the top, then everybody want to serve God. But can you still serve God while things are not going the way you would want it to go? That's where your perseverance comes into play. If you believe, you're going to endure, knowing that most are going to restore you. Read. But rejoice, and as much as ye are partakers of Christ's suffering, that when his glory shall be revealed, ye may be glad also with exceeding joy. So Christ went through trials and tribulations. We're supposed to be followers of Christ. So what's the problem? If he endure, why can't we endure? Because he came to live as an example for us on how to about to go about pers uh, persevere through this truth. Give me uh, Romans 5, verse 3 and 5. So if we endure, then you know what? We're going to have salvation. The book of Romans, chapter 5, verse 3. And not only so, but we glory in tribulations also, knowing that tribulation worketh patience. You see that, people? We, everything that's written in full time is written for our learning. So we're supposed to read this Bible and understand that, oh, damn, you know what? When my trial comes, even though it's not sweet, but I should glory in it because it's a good thing. Because that's what's going to buffet me up. That's what's going to build me up. That's what's going to help me build up strength to endure the days ahead, because guess what? It's only going to get worse and worse and worse. That's what you got to understand. This is not a walk in the park. The most are going to increase the intensity of this group. So, as you already see, they're coming after us. Brothers who left us coming after us. Brothers who was never with us coming after us. The, 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 the system is coming after us. The SPLC and all these people. BBC News, they're coming for us. So, which means... If we can't endure the small little trials that we're going through in a body, how are you going to endure the heavier trials? If you can't overcome a little bicker and a little uh, argument you had with a brother or sister, how are you going to endure till the end of time? Because those are pre preliminary uh, trials to do what? To build you up. Just like if you play sports, you have a team, you're training the team, what do you do? Pass a certain amount of time of training. You, you find pickup games for them. Pickup games against what? You know, okay teams to see where your, where your team is at. And if you see that they're doing better, guess what? You find bigger, more, more, more uh, harder games for them. And when you see that they're doing good, then you put them in the tournament. And guess what? Only the best wins the championship. So we all got to go through this fire. But we must glory in tribulations. Read. And patience, experience, and experience, hope. So if you glory in your tribulation, why? Because you know it's going to teach you patience. And patience gives you hope. Read. And hope make it not a shame. And hope make it not a shame. If you hope in God, you're never going to be ashamed. Read. Because the love of God is shed abroad in our hearts by the Holy Ghost which is given unto us. Give me Hebrew 12, verse 6 and 8. So we must endure. We must glory in tribulation. Like it says in Lamentation, why does, a, why does a living man complain for the punishment of his sins? When you look at your, your, your trials, if your mind is on the bigger picture, you're going to overcome your trials. Because you're going to realize those are things that's set up to try to pull you down if you don't know how to deal with them. Read that. The book of Hebrews, chapter 12 and verse 6. 
for whom the Lord loveth, he chasteneth, and scourgeth every son whom, be received, whom he receiveth. You see that? If God loves you, he's going to scourge you. He's going to whip you. And that's every single one of us, which means today's my day, tomorrow is his day, the day after might be your day. At the end of the day, we all have our days. You understand? The trial is going to happen regardless who you are in this truth. Correction is going to happen regardless who you are in this truth. Are you going to be men enough to deal with the correction? Or are you going to run to your mama? Or are you going to run outside the truth and start making videos and bad, bad mouth them the people that actually taught you? Now you're an elder. So with all that great understanding you have as an elder, you didn't understand that you wasn't supposed to leave the body? I can't make this thing up, man. Verse 7. I'm 7. Good. If ye endure chastening, God delivered with you as with sons. So if you endure, if you endure, that's the word, if. If you endure, then God will deal with you as a son. Read. For what son is he whom the father chasteneth not? So the father will chasteneth every son. And if you endure, then he deal with you as a son. Just like kids, certain parents will whip them, and then the kids run away from home. And what happened to them? They get kidnapped, they get sold into sex trafficking, their life become a living hell. Why? They didn't like the correction. So now they're getting a worse correction. It's the same thing. Corrections you get here, be happy that you got it. Be happy that there's somebody that care enough to correct you. But when the devil's in your mind, instead of seeing that that's a person that love you that's correcting you, oh, that nigga hate me. Oh, that sister hate me. Why you say that? Oh, because they're always correcting me with that scripture, like I can't do nothing right. Nobody says you can't do nothing right, but if you do something wrong, what is our duty? Correct you. If I'm a brother and I see a spirit on you, and I definitely could spot the spirit, what am I to tell you? Just let you be? Or tell you that, yo, bro, fix this. I'm seeing this, 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 and that. That's love. That's somebody that I care for you. So if you can go through these things and endure them, and sometimes you got to get rebuked. And if you can take all those blows, plus whatever your trial, your personal trials are, your marital trials, you know what I'm saying? Guess what? If you endure, then God is going to deal with you as a son. Verse 8, but if ye be without chastisement, wherefore all are partakers, then are ye bastards. Then are you what? Then are ye bastards. Then are ye bastards. If you do not endure chastening, then you are a bastard. So that's why it says we're glory in tribulation because when your trial come, you'll be like, okay, the Lord is dealing with me as a son. But if your mind ain't right, you ain't going to see it that way. You gotta say, "Ask, oh, they just hate me. They just hate me." But really and truly, nobody hates you. You hate yourself. Read but verse eight. If ye be without chastisement, mm -hmm. wherefore all are partakers. Then are ye bastards and not sons. Then are ye bastards and not sons. You don't want to be a bastard. So pray for your trials. Pray for your uh, tribulation to come, so that we can glory, knowing that the Most High is dealing with you as with a, with a son. All right. Give me Sirach two. Uh, Sirach 2 chapter 1 I mean chapter 2 verse 1 The book of Sirach Chapter 2 and verse 1 My son if thou come to serve the Lord Prepare thy soul for temptation My son if you come to serve the Lord Prepare your soul for temptation The scripture give you clear warning Get ready So why is it that when it happened Now all of a sudden you count it strange That means what You're not really studying your Bible Or if you are reading you're not taking these words to heart. You might think it's never going to happen to me. But the Bible already did warn you. Get ready. Read. Set thine heart aright and constantly endure. Here's that word again. And make not haste in time of trouble. Endure and don't make haste to depart from the truth. That's where a lot of people fall off. When correction comes, instead of enduring and not make haste to go back into the world, they, they don't endure and they make haste to go back to the world. And you see them on YouTube decaying right before your eyes. But guess what? These things must happen to put fear in our heart who's left behind to get it right. Read. 
cleave unto him mm -hmm. and depart not away that thou mayest be increased at thy last end so cleave unto the most high god because if you don't cleave unto him guess what you done so endure your trials all right read verse 4 whatsoever is brought upon thee take cheerfully and be patient when thou art changed to a low estate. Now, if thou art changed. When thou art changed to a low estate. You might be changed. When thou art changed. Be great. Be, be cheerful when thou art changed to a low estate. We all got to go through it. But if you understand perseverance, guess what? You're going to endure through it. Because you got to be tested in all points. Read. For gold is tried in the fire, uh -huh. and acceptable men in the furnace of adversity. You see that? So gold is tried in fire, and men, which represent the gold, we are put in the furnace of adversity. Adversity represents the fire. What is the purpose? To remove the impurities that we have in us. It's to expose us to us. Because many of us think we know ourselves, but we don't know ourselves. Until we go through trials and tribulation, then you see what you're made of. No man knows himself until he has been tested. You, know, you don't know if you're not a thief until you don't have no food, no money to feed your family. You understand? Two are trials, you're going you're gonna to find out what you're made of. So with that, we're going to say endure and never let go. Shalom. We used to scream black power while Haram was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling These are how our men repented at heart The scriptures is proof IUIC, we deliver the truth